great memories associated with this t-shirt. Sunday morning has arrived and the skies are really cloudy. Hopefully the Phillies get their game in today. I know it's supposed to rain basically all day. They've been saying that a lot lately and it's believe me it's rained a ton last month or two, but there've been a few times where they've said it's going to rain all day and it really hasn't. So, we'll see. The Cubs come in for a three-game series starting tomorrow, so I mean, you kind of go into that assuming they'll lose all three, hoping they steal one. Sorry about that crazy bug. Weather's held off so far today. The clouds are definitely moving. Well, they've been here the whole time, but they're darkening. They're up 3 nothing, which is really encouraging. It's nice to see them uh, score a few runs. Not enough, but Aaron Nola's pitching really well. The guy has been really good because sometimes you can forget that he's still only 23 years old. He's one of the younger starters in the game, so it's encouraging to see him continuing to pitch well and really develop at a good early age, and it's not like he's one of these guys who just comes out firing 99 miles an hour, so uh, hopefully this game will continue as is. And the Phillies take a 7-0 lead in the bottom of the fifth. Jimmy Paredes three-run shot. Phillies finish off the Brewers today. 8-1 victory. Really nice to see them get a win and score some runs. They don't score runs often. They don't homer often, and they homered a couple times over the last few days, so that was a lot of fun to see. Anyway, the skies have opened up, severe thunderstorms are rolling through the area, so I'm going to end this vlog early today as I want to make sure I get something pieced together and get it posted before any potential power outages. Not that I'm necessarily expecting one, but my final thought for today is that clown who threw the beer bottle at Ryan Howard, you're a loser. I think everyone watching knows you're a loser, and this is the kind of nonsense that happens a little too often in Philadelphia, unfortunately, and... You know, Philadelphians get really insulted and really upset when the mainstream media and, you know, people across the nation, you know, kind of rip Philadelphia. And it's incidents like this that don't help. Um, obviously, anyone with common sense knows it's one of, you know, 25,000 people who are there. It's one dope. But, um, you know, that's it's just stupid. It's uncalled for. It's idiotic. And... As painful it is, is, as painful as it is to watch Ryan Howard sometimes now because he, the skills have just virtually completely eroded, you don't do that. Again, the guy helped you win a World Series. The guy had three or four of the best seasons in the franchise's history. I mean, he had multiple seasons that were better than Mike Schmidt. The guy was insane during his glory days, which have come and gone, unfortunately, as long. So, you know, just... Treat the guy right until his time is done here. Have a great one.